So lard versus vegetable oils. Which one is truly healthier? But before I get into this, I want to define what lard is versus tallow. Lard is pig fat. Tallow is beef or lamb fat. Now, of course, when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about organic animals, pastured animals, and or grass-fed animals. I'm not talking about, you know, commercial farm animals. Before I get into this, I want to just define one word. It's a French word, idea fixé. This is a French word, which means fixed idea. If you look it up, it's an idea that's firmly resistant to any attempts to modify it. So when a person has a fixed idea, they're very unlikely to change their mind about it. And they're very unwilling to actually look at the evidence or the information. And what I'm talking about is this very fixed idea that saturated fat, especially lard, equals clogged arteries, right? I mean, everyone knows this, right? Well, before 1918, before Crisco was invented, everyone was cooking with lard or tallow. And they put it in their baking goods, they fried with it, they used it everywhere. And it wasn't considered a bad food. When they found a way of uh, modifying canola oil, hydrogenating it, altering it, making it more stable, deodorizing it, and then coming up with this product called Crisco. That was in 1918. Now the company that put out Crisco uh, put out a cookbook and they started a, an amazing, effective marketing campaign that lasted for a very long time. In fact, Crisco and trans fats were considered healthier than saturated fats like lard and tallow. So it was considered a healthy substitute until the year 2015 when the FDA banned trans foods. And so they gave industry about three years to take them off the market. If we take 2015 and subtract the year 1918, we get 97 years. I mean, this blows my mind. You have something on the market for 97 years, almost 100 years, that was considered safe and healthy, but in reality, completely false data. It was very unhealthy. It causes diabetes type 2, Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, but it was considered safe but now it's being banned. This is actually mind blowing and it tells you the power of marketing. And so now we have this entire generation that has this idea that is false, but they consider it true. And, and for a person now to go back to saturated fats, it's very, very difficult because we've been literally brainwashed into thinking it's a healthier thing. Let's just take a look at the difference between saturated fats and unsaturated fats. Saturated fats, you have lard, tallow, butter, coconut oil, right? And then you have unsaturated fats like corn oil, soy oil, canola, cottonseed oil. There's more, but I want to just focus on the, uh, the big ones. If you actually take a look at some pretty hardcore data that is very credible, which I'm going to put a link down below, these unsaturated fats are very unstable, especially when you heat them up. They produce massive amounts of oxidation, free radical damage, inflammation. They tear the inside of your arteries apart, create insulin resistance. Now let's take a look at saturated fats. They're very stable, um, much, much less oxidation, very little free radical damage, are meant to be used with higher amounts of heat. So in summary, lard and tallow is way healthier than vegetable oils, which are really grain oils. Go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think about this topic. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. 
And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.